Good evening everyone and before I begin my uh, webinar, wishing everyone happy Gudi Parva and Ugadi. And I have been informed that uh, those who are Bori Muslims, uh, Eid Mubarak to every one of you because today uh, Bori Muslims are celebrating their Eid. And those uh, who are going to celebrate on Thursday, uh, in advance I am basically wishing everyone an Eid Mubarak. So, uh, you know, before I, and there are some interesting data I'm going to discuss today about it and, we, and then we'll definitely open the floor for question and answer. But before that, just a small disclaimer that this webinar is only to enhance your understanding about the equity market. Please consult your financial advisor before buying or selling any stock. Please remember that in, investment in the equity markets are market, subject to market risk and past performance, no indicator of future returns. With this, if you look at this, climate today came out with the prediction on the southwest monsoon and we very badly need good monsoon. Why? Because last year was not a very great monsoon for India. We all know what's happening and I was discussing one of our PMS customer who lives in uh, uh, Pune and fortunately where he lives uh, there's not much of a problem for him uh, in terms of water but he said a very interesting thing to me and he said that they do have a municipality water. I'm talking about the city of Bangalore. Only few houses get uh, the, the, the municipal water and that municipal water comes maybe twice or thrice in a week. Now that surprises me actually. You know, uh, Bangalore is not a small city. Uh, and, and if that is happening, I think that's a very, very scary. But anyway, uh, I think what we need is a good monsoon. The water level, the table level is basically declining very, very fast. And this time, IMD did predict that heat wave is going to be severe. And if that's so, it will further deplete that water reserve because the evaporation of water that will happen because of heat wave. But fortunately, SkyMet, which normally is the most conservative in terms of the prediction, I have observed over many years, SkyMet is more conservative as compared to IMD in when it comes to the prediction of Southwest Monsoon. At this time, they said that Monsoon this time would be normal to 102 percent. But of course, the margin of plus and phi, that's more of a technical of to its long period average. So that's a very good thing. Another good thing, if you remember, I also did last time, somewhere in April or May, and explain what is IO for the season in totality. In other words, there will be pockets which will not receive good monsoon. I'll tell you which pockets the sky might is saying will not have a good monsoon, but there are pockets which will receive either normal or above normal monsoon. IMD will announce their prediction most likely next by next week. Because if you remember, I, when I did my equity outlook, I said by mid of April, today is what? Today is what? 9th April. So by next week, uh, they should be uh, announcing their prediction about uh, Southwest. And of course, market will closely watch what uh, IMD. So normally what I've observed over the years, if SkyMet has said normal, there is a high probability that even IMD would say normal or above normal. It would not say deficit because normally SkyMet is more conservative as compared to IMD. So of course, next week when I'll be in front of you, uh, we can discuss that. Now region that will have a sufficiently good monsoon. So SkyMet has also given which are the region which will have sufficiently good rains, adequate rainfall and the deficit rainfall. So as a country, there will be some kind of a uneven distribution would be there. So what are the places where this one? So south will definitely have a, uh, a good monsoon. So is the case with west that is Gujarat and so. Northwest with also will get a very good monsoon. So like Bangalore city, like Bangalore, hopefully should get very good rainfall. Adequate rainfall would be in Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. But there could be, despite India receiving an normal monsoon of 102 to long period average, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal may receive deficit rainfall. What we will do, again next week I'll come in front of you and we'll just discuss if by that time if I am just given the numbers, 
will look at this and well they say whether this data prediction of sky mid does it tally with the imd prediction or not and then we will see what could be the outlier if both are saying very similar then probably that happening is very very high so i am very happy that this has come it will give a big relief to the to the to the politicians to the bureaucrats to the aam aadmi and even to the stock market why because jal hai to jeevan hai so i think that's a very critical thing uh, that we are going to receive a very good monsoon and i'm happy despite that news coming in today market i think close in the red uh, if my memory serves me right uh, let me see uh, it is a problem with me you know basically that i don't look at the market that's a one minute when i think market that's what my dealers were telling me that sir market thoda uh, down tha uh, ek minute uh, our we have change our layout also with this one that sometimes it become ha yes sensex was also down nifty was also down okay mid cap was also down and small cap all they were in red so despite good news coming in uh, some of the leading indices as well as the medium small cap close in the red so if you look at the uh, one more interesting data you know i keep saying that ye market ka thoda alag hi chalne ka tarika hota hai and this is not done analysis done by me let me very really honestly money control did it with taking data from bloomberg so i put the source also what the date is an analysis a very beautiful analysis the journey of sensex from 70 to 75000 that is 5000 points contributed by only 60% contributed by four stocks which are the four stocks reliance or oh sorry uh, the the reliance reliance sbi bharti airtel and tcs they accounted for 61.44% in other words there is a high probability that if you don't own any of these stocks you may underperform the next four stocks that tata motors sun pharma ntpc and maruti suzuki accounted for 27% in other words now this is the beauty about this market you know sometimes uh, like reliance for example was little struggling if you remember and many times you people also ask uh, me and i gave my opinion so the the point what i'm trying to say the market really is becoming more and more narrow so while what you believe that to benchmark काफी हद तक स्ट्रॉन्ग है द अंडर करंट इज एज नॉट एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज वॉट लुक्स लाइक एंड आई थिंक दिस डेटा कमिंग आउट विल गिव यू लॉट ऑफ सेंस वाई पोर्टफोलियोज आर अंडर परफॉर्मिंग रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज फ्यू स्टॉक्स इज आर लार्ज स्टॉक्स आई कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द मैक्सिमम टू द दिस वन सो फाइव थाउजेंड पॉइंट रैली ऑफ सेवेंटी थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड Country sixty one percent is accounted by the four stocks. Balance uh, in Sensex we have thirty companies. So balance twenty six percent stocks accounted for thirty nine percent. Now for that next four basically account for twenty seven. So you can imagine. If I take eight stocks, I get ninety percent of the rally is accounted by eight stocks. Balance twenty two percent have either given negative or very marginal gain to the uh, Sensex. so that's how the data so sometimes data when you dive into uh, it becomes a very very interesting thing how did the market behave uh, in last uh, uh, five trading days small cap did well i must tell you was up by 2% but mid cap underperformed why because sensex is up by 1.1% nifty up by 0.8 but the mid cap is up by only 0.8 because mid cap has been diving it uh, very much better as compared to this bank nifty did well but i think metal seems to be the name of the game so if you look at the metal prices you know we discussed last friday about copper and we discussed about how copper has touched so i think the there is a rally in the uh, so i must tell you i must confess uh, we do own some of the metal companies in our pms and and i think that's really helping us to perform reasonably well in our pms i think if you look at in the month of april we out, out performed the benchmark almost by 2x Uh, uh so uh, no sorry uh, that's a wrong statement uh, if the perf- the benchmark is x uh, we are 2x uh, in terms of that so i think it has done uh, extremely well of course we do own some of the uh, the auto oil company that did well some defense uh, which has a high exposure did well 
uh, we do own some of the public sector bank, one of the leading public sector bank that did well, some of the pharma company that did well. So that really helped us to do that. But having said that, we continue to believe, don't get misled by this rally in the mid and small cap. We continue to believe there is a froth in the mid and small cap and market, those companies can correct. You can read my interview got published today in Mint uh, and, and, and it's there on my Twitter handle also. They've marked me in Mint, so I've just uh, re-forwarded that to you can read that. And we clearly believe that there is a some amount of a fraud that still needs to go away uh, from the media and small cap. So there's this rally is there, but don't read too much into this rally. Okay. In case some of the companies that you hold on and you could not exit, and if it's giving an opportunity, please see whether they merit to be deserved to be part of your portfolio or not. If it's not, please make an exit. Uh, having said that, uh, FMCG continues to be underperformer. Pharma, for some reason, did not perform as much as this. And PSU Bank really, to some extent, has not been as strong as uh, one would have expected in last one week. But if you look at the reality also, as seconds, of course, uh, today it did well, but this is including today's price, it's up by only 0.6%. And since RBI, uh, I did cover in my, and I, you must have, people must have received my blog also, uh, the RBI and the elephant, and there I mentioned about how uh, the rate cut cycle seems to be becoming more and more uh, 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 shallow, not only shallow, but uh, also becoming uh, chances of happening so is getting reduced. And that's why I have used the word Hathi Mere Sati. I think it will remain with us, the inflation a little longer than one would imagine. And what's happening with the crude oil prices, what's happening with the food inflation, I think that could be the one uh, gray area or the factor that market will need to uh, figure it out. Uh, YTD, uh, a small cap is up by 7.6 percent. The mid cap continues to be the, the star performer, even this one, first three and a half months or so. And Sensex and Nifty both are in green, but 4.2. FMCG is down by 5.9. Nifty IT is down by 1.2. And Nifty Bank and Nifty Finance are continue to underperformer, uh, which they did underperform in 2023. They continue to underperform in 2024. The best performing sector, YTD, is uh, PSU Bank, 26%. I'm not very sure that could be the trend by end of 2024. I think some other sectors will uh, replace PSU Bank in the top of the cycle. With this, uh, uh, the FIS inflow seems to be slowing down. They did extremely well. They did pumped in a lot of money in the month of March. April, the inflow have uh, slowed down. Only 1,600 crore uh, they have invested. But this is my personal opinion, not Marcus Mojo opinion. And hence, if it goes wrong, you don't have to blame me, not Marcus Mojo. My sense is that in the month of April, uh, there would be negative uh, uh, inflow from the FIIs. In other words, uh, we do expect some uh, selling happening. When we do, I, I do expect that some uh, selling likely to happen by FPI in the month of April. So till now, they are positive but probability they will turn negative is very, very high. With this, let's open the floor for question answer. Over to you, Amir. Abhita Singh, do you think the market with correction, correction post result? You know, street is right. See, ma'am, I think it's also a function of, uh, it's not only result, but there'll be some event that could basically trigger some amount of profit booking. So yes, it will happen. Is it because it happened because of result? Is it happened because of geopolitical tension? Because we all know that uh, Israel attack uh, and kill some of the prominent people of Iran. Iran has vowed to take revenge and so on and so forth. Anything can happen. Uh, the crude going up could also be a risk factor that market will start discounting or market come to, to comes to terms that a rate of interest is not going to come down. Then why are we uh, uh, you know, factoring because if you remember since October, the, the market has been railing because only in the hope that there will be rate cuts. Uh, and that rate cuts seems to be now becoming more and more getting postponed uh, uh, meeting after meeting. So could be anything reason. I don't know whether it will be result or not result, post result, pre result, very difficult to say. But we do believe uh, the market needs to correct to take out some of the froth. Uh, that's what we uh, believe. 
Taha uh, Taha Nalsi. Hello, Sunil ji. If the company is only listed in one exchange, that BS exchange, it is a small cap, mid cap. Is it a red flag or negative sign that it's only listed in BS exchange? What is the reason company gets listed only in one exchange? SP BS exchange. Please advise. So, typically, it should not be read too much into it. In fact, I had one company which was only listed in uh, listed in uh, BSE. when i get made a good money on that so i don't think that should be the consideration but it does call for higher amount of vigilance or higher amount of scrutiny if the company is only listed on one exchange then we should really wonder why is it not listed on other exchange uh, uh, and sometimes you know the nsc also has their own parameters to list at that company so maybe they may not be satisfying those parameters that's why but logically if you ask me if i am a promoter if i am a just one I would love to list this company in both the exchanges. So I don't know which company happen. Is it a red flag? In general, no. Does it call for higher amount of scrutiny? Answer is yes. Doesn't mean that oh, nahi hai to investi nahi karna hai. Only thing your level of scrutiny should go up just to ensure that the company that you are getting into is it a proper company or not. So that's the apply logic that you need to apply. Uh, Asutosh is saying, "Why don't you uh, 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 schedule the webinar six to six thirty p.m. Because during the IPSA, we would miss out the half an hour of power play." Uh, I don't know, sir, uh, whether this is a, a requirement from you or there is a requirement from many. So I'll request everyone, please put it down. Uh, do you want me to continue at seven p.m. or you want uh, me to do webinar at six thirty so that uh, uh, you know you can uh, watch the power play also? So please put it down, and then Amit will compile, and then based on your feedback, uh, we will take a call. Thanks a lot, Asutosh, for giving this feedback. I think sometimes it may also help you to have your uh, meal in, in time because I do understand that you know sometimes sometimes people do complain that your webinar goes till eight eight ten, and then you know uh, uh, we are not able to have a family time, we are not able to have a dinner. So maybe that's a, that maybe appeal could be one excuse that we can use. to prepon but please do give me your feedback should we go back to 6:30 or not or you are very comfortable with 7 pm i will do give me the compile and do kiss at the data a uh, sai sasidharan is saying my portfolio is about 6% presently 6 years presently with xr about 15 is it a good portfolio return compared to the index return or what xr value recommend for strategic performance so if you have done Uh, XR of fifteen uh, percent in six years, you did reasonably good job, uh, and I assume that you have done on your own. So that's a reasonably good return. Fifteen percent is a good return because normally if you see fund manager का भी देख लोगे, तो वही पंद्रह सोलह ही होता है छः साल के पीरियड में को जेन वी आर सिंग सो छः साल डेट मीन्स यू मस्ट बी टॉकिंग ऑफ़ टू थाउजेंड एटीन पीरियड. So I think it's a fairly uh, 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 not a bad return. Fifteen percent satisfactory return. I don't think you should be uh, uh, too much worry about it. Uh, uh, 15% is good return. Uh, I mean, see what does this 15% return means? That you double your money every five years. In fact, you double more than uh, you more than double in five years. So I believe uh, as a as a uh, retail investor, you have done a very good good job, uh, Sasheer Ranji. Uh, Bhargav is saying, sir, under module like scanner, there are few stocks which are excellent, good in quality parameter. Which does not qualify in valuation parameter. For example, real tail corporation, red tape, etc. Please explain. Does not quality, does not fall under valuation parameter. I need to check, ma'am. Why is it not uh, uh, featuring into uh, uh, what we call a valuation parameter? I will just please forward this uh, message to Karan, and our team will look into it. Is there something? Uh, so is there some logic not running? That's why it says real tail corporation because real tail is an old company. They came out with an IPO. Quite some time back, so I don't know why they should not uh, uh, have a valuation parameter not running. Definitely, my team will look into. It. Thanks for pointing it out. I will just please Karan ko bhijwa dije. We'll definitely look into that. Uh, Durgan, our sir, say please, please again to provide a portfolio of mutual funds including aggression conservative. Sir, uh, it's a work in progress. I must tell you that. Uh, sir, we are running on so many things simultaneously that sometimes our technology team also. Uh, does not have enough bandwidth to manage this. So it's on our agenda. It will happen in 2024 only. Uh, but when it will happen? Is it going to happen tomorrow? My answer is no. It will take some time for you to wait and watch. Uh, that's what my request would be. 
Uh, again, the right person to take this question is Karan Batra. Uh, my request would please ask him, and he's the best person to answer this question. Uh, could I add that? Uh, saying, Sir, I wish you happy Guri Prabha. Thanks a lot. Kindly give your valuable views in Soga sector for short term and long term as a director. This has not participated in the rally yet. We are right. It has not participated, sir, uh, for the very simple reason is that this ethanol blending ka jo tha government ka that you cannot divert uh, for ethanol and because of obviously government wanted to control the sugar prices and, and that's the thing. But today I think someone was, I read somewhere that uh, government might basically uh, relax some norms for diverting to the ethanol. Uh, so maybe that if that happens, it will benefit. But remember, government, because of election here, because of water scarcity, because of this one, government want to uh, control the because sugar is a very sensitive commodity. It has been consumed by poorest of the poorest people and the rich of the rich people. And that's because there's a universal applications. Second thing, sugar goes into many products, which is in, then it becomes a little interesting in pressure. So government want to control the price of sugar. Our sense is that once election gets over, I think again, uh, some restriction will get lifted. And ultimately, government has a very clear cut uh, strategy to have EBL of 20, that is ethanol blending program. Uh, okay, EBP, sorry, not EBL, but EBP. So government will do that. So it's a temporary setback. So I think in long term, sugar sector should do extremely well. I must, I, I must tell you that. Because government will not, because government wants to reduce more and more redu reduction on the import of uh, 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 what we call uh, uh, crude oil. Uh, they want to then hand blending, ethanol blending is a very powerful tool to control our deficit also. So I think they just temporarily, it has underperformed, but not for long. I think it's it's a good sector to be in. See, our problem is that if company doesn't work, then we get a little restless. I'll give you a classical example, you know, and I distinctly recollect uh, when we had recommended uh, uh, what we call uh, Excite Industries as a stock of the month, it did not perform well, couple of months. And that's, I think, we recommended January, am I right, Ramir? Uh, January 2023, if my memory serves me right. Yes. Okay, we recommended January 2023. And if you look at this price from January 2023, uh, you know, it was really struggling uh, uh, in terms of the performance. And what happened? Uh, you know, the company did extremely well. Uh, and now it's 100, up 112%. So it's a non-linear. The sugar is something very similar. Uh, you know, it it will, uh, it has underperformed for some time. See, I must tell you, we do own one of the, uh, the ethanol, uh, the co company that basically manufacture the ethanol machinery uh, and supply to them. Uh, we not exited, uh, even though this company did not perform as much as we would love it that company to perform. But then we knew that this is a temporary setback, which will get overcome. So that's why we have not done it. So my sense is that please continue to uh, uh, don't get disheartened. Uh, see if you look at this graph, you know, can you see this graph? Uh, so we recommended here and then you know, did not perform for Kitna Mena till April, Tin Mena Tak I distinctly collect, you know, many of you will agree, Tin Tin Mena market mein chala nahi hai. why is it not uh, performing? And we just said the have patience and you can look at it. It's up by 112% since then. Okay, despite that underperformance versus the sensex which is up by only 23%. So that's the nature of the market, don't get too much worry. Sugar looks extremely promising, sugar sector looks extremely promising to us in a medium to long term. So I think since you've gone through that pain period of last couple of months, maybe there will be one or two months, but I think over then it should do extremely well. Uh, Jitin is saying, sir, in market mojo IP, there are many stocks which frequently changes from hold to sell or sell to hold back to back. So that too within few days. It is the same with buy and hold rating also. Why is this happening? How fundamental changes in such a small period of time to back to back? I wonder how one can stick to one to the rating if the rating changes rapidly from hold to sell, sell to hold. So Jitin ji, uh, you know, when you look at our IP, IP is a function of four parameters. Quality, valuation, recent quarterly financial performance, and the technical, four parameters, am I right? Now within that four parameters, quality 
and result will not change daily. Why? Quality is a long term parameter and result CFT will change four times in a year when the company declares the numbers. But other two parameters, the valuation is a function of price movement. It, as the price move, the valuation will change. And second thing is the technicals. So when there is a price movement, technical dot will also undergo change. So, and, and our score is a function of all four parameters. And hence, you will see that fluctuation happening between hold to buy and buy to hold to sell. That's what's happening. Now your question is much bigger. That what do we need to do? If you see this company is basically moving from hold to sell and so on and so forth. If you're holding the stock, don't get out because of this change happening. Because if it's happening very often, then you know it's happening. But if you don't own the stock, don't get into passive. Same way, if you own a stock which is a buy and goes to hold, again you don't make an exit. But should you buy phrase by, the answer is no. So when this movement happens from hold to sell, you know, sell to hold, hold the stock, same way, buy to hold and hold to buy, hold the stock, don't buy. So in both the cases, you should not buy fresh, you should not sell the stock. I hope that makes it clear. Hello sir, I have inquired for PMS registration on 4th April, but till now I have not received any response. Could you please assign someone from your onboarding team? Definitely sir, my apology. I'm really surprised that uh, uh, no one has reached out to you. I mean, immediately send me this, please. Uh, I'll ask my, someone definitely reach out to you uh, in next 24 hours to you. It's my promise to you, Rajveer. Acha, Amir, did people responded to that 6.30, 7? 7? Okay, good. So most of the people wanted 7 only, am I right? 6.30, there was only 4. Okay, okay, good. And more people are at 7. Okay, chalo, good. So we'll do it at, we'll keep it at 7. Perfect. Balaji sir, my personal portfolio is either good or excellent score. Currently 82. Yet I'm either losing money or earning lesser profit than movements in BSC and S index. Have to run the portfolio also. I'm not sure how to reverse the trend. Maybe dispose some stock and buy others. Please advise how to go about it. So Balaji sir, if you go back to my presentation which I was making, there are few stocks which are uh, is it visible, my presentation? The few stocks which has been driving up the rally. The, the Sensex rally from 70 to 75,000, 61% is account by four stocks. Reliance, SBI, Bharti, Airtel and TCS. So if you don't own these stocks, probability is very high that you will underperform. So in a short term, there could be underperformance. Should you get worried, the answer is no. As long as the holding stocks are good, you should be fine. So that's why I always keep saying, remember one thing in life. If your process is right, outcome eventually would be right. If your process is wrong, outcome eventually will be wrong. In the short run, you will may make money if the process is wrong. You may make and you may think, Are, chal hai. Wo chalega nahi lamba din tak. it will basically uh, 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 start playing uh, uh, underperformance and you will start losing money. So that's why we focus to, since your process is right, you say we are holding good and excellent company which is buy on our system, there is no reason you should get worried. Yes, it can underperform as I was explaining in next side industry also. It can create a frustration, but then you know market is all about non-linear returns. It doesn't happen uh, that way. So don't worry, uh, you, are, you are holding good company, score is 82, don't worry. In fact, you know, your problem is that we all live in now, uh, you know, uh, instant gratification. Gratification. Sabko aisa hi lagta hai ki bas mera portfolio haro chalna chahiye, wo hona chahiye. Wo to possible nahi hota nahi na sir. So that's why my request is that please don't get too much disheartened if portfolio underperforming for some more time. It's fine. That's a part and parcel of the the market behavior. Sachin, you know, har vakt har match mein essentially banana nahi tha na. Neither has been done by the uh, Virat Kohli or not by the uh, uh, Rohit Sharma. That's okay. It's not only one match. Sometimes you see the star batsman not able to perform, even the complete series also. That's fine. Bumra ko koi sixer bhi sakta hai na. So that's fine. That's not that result that you should be able to take wickets in every ball. 
तो दिस ऑल पार्ट एंड पार्सल है पेशेंस थिंग शुड एंड दिस नॉट ओनली मैसेज टू बालाजी सर एवरी वन दो अटेंडिंग द वेबिनार प्लीज डोंट गेट दिस हार्ट एंड फॉर सम रीजन द गुड क्वालिटी कंपनी दैट यू ओनिंग डजेंट परफॉर्म वेल दैट्स द नेचर ऑफ द मार्केट राइट None of the stocks mentioned in the Mojo stocks for the increase in five thousand points. Why? Uh, none of the stocks mentioned in the Mojo stocks. That's why I'm trying to say uh, our Mojo stock is a function of our IP. So you know, sometimes we can participate. Sometimes we may not participate in those really. Your observation is right. So Maruti Suzuki, for example, we do on our model portfolio because it's stock of the month also. If you remember that. Tata Motors we do own, so Tata Motors we own in our PMS. Maruti Suzuki we own in our PMS. Uh, uh, TCS we own in our PMS. I must tell you that. So at least out of that eight stocks, three stocks, so we definitely own in our uh, 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 PMS. So they are part of. And Maruti Suzuki was a part of Mojo stock. We do continue to hold in a model portfolio also. I'm very sure in TCS also we own on our model portfolio. Uh, PK said all film company down last three months. Consumption down. Electronics election is also the with weather forecast good. A relief correction down the corner. You is so my personal view uh, said sir. I do believe that FMCG has had a very long period of underperformance, and it makes lot of case now uh, that it should outperform. I'm not saying it will happen in one month, two months, because I'm not a great expert uh, uh, in predicting out one or two months. But if you have patience, I think if and if I have to again come in front of in April two thousand twenty five, FMC FMC as a sector could be uh, among the best performing sectors in the country. So yes, it is underperform. Uh, very, I must tell you that uh, uh, I am extremely bullish on FMC. Uh, uh, why? Because you have not seen that kind of a volume growth in that uh, uh, in the sector. But if the if the monsoon is going to be good, it will spur the growth in the. The rural economy, number one. Number two, I think as the people keep moving uh, in the layer of the uh, the the standard of living, they will move from unbranded to branded, uh, uh, unorganized to organized, and that uh, will give a flip to the uh, uh, to the FMC companies. And some of the FMC companies may come out just to uh, get back the investor interest, investors interest. They may do some restructuring in the businesses. That's also possible. So my sense is that uh, we should expect business growth prospects. We should expect corporate restructuring, uh, and that could drive the revenue for the FMCG company. Uh, that should drive the valuation of the FMCG company. So I I believe they should do well. But don't hold me accountable. That two months ke baad in the month of June, you have told me that you are not going to go. So I have no guarantee for two months. I have no guarantee for two months. But there is a possibility that they should do. So if I have to again come in front of April 2025. I think it should be amongst the best performing sectors. Uh, John Bright, uh, mixed responses are coming from the election officer. What is the current dispens uh, dispenses that got ousted? Will that correct twenty percent? Very high probability, sir. Uh, yes, it can. Market can uh, hit the the lower circuit, but I don't know where you are getting this uh, mixed responses. Whatever. Our reading about it, whatever uh, little discussion that we have with some people, it gives us a very clarity of thoughts that uh, uh, the current uh, incumbent government will retain the power. In fact, again I mentioned that it's not only about the retaining the power, but I think the market today is budgeting for 370 plus for BJP and 400 plus for NDA. For some reason, that numbers is not come. Then there could be corrections, not twenty percent correction. There could be corrections, but uh, right now I don't think I don't know, sir John, sir. Where did you get this data from? Uh, that the BJP is unlikely to retain the power. That I don't think it's built into. Even the opposition language seems to be that they are not fighting for two thousand twenty-four. They are seems to be making themselves ready for two thousand twenty-nine. Uh, so that's what, and I think uh, uh, that's what the the sense we are getting right now. And even the body language. Of opposition doesn't seems to be this. There is one more setback that happened to the opposition today. That Arvind Kejriwal bail application was rejected by the High Court today. 
and one of the contention that you know kids uh, that's what the hygiene court has said not my the one is that you know this is a ploy by ed uh, so that this guy cannot uh, what we call uh, do campaigning for the election and in the high court said no you have been sent summons much in advance you chose not to appear before that so it's not that they are basically arrested you because you cannot campaign for had you been uh, 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 appeared before ed then you you know then then things would have been different number one number two they said that a pure uh, uh, statement cannot be taken uh, on the record and they said the pure world has made a statement not in the front of ed but in the front of magistrate and now you can question the judicial uh, decision and number 3 is that the uh, approval is given money to the, the the this one and court has to say that that that's not a look out for someone to justify that i can do the crime and can get away with it. i think that's what the the court seems to have said and if that is so i think that's a big setback so i think we need to again understand that right now opposition doesn't look very united uh, in a way you look at what has happened in jammu and kashmir you know where each party even though they part of the uh, the alliance uh, but they are contesting uh, separately so i think electorate also understand ke was if they are not able to unite before the election there is a high probability they will not be able to unite post election and if that is there then this country uh, that the government will become like a khichdi government and they will not be have any proper uh, governance standards so i i, I doubt that uh, 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 you know market is basically uh, factoring that kind of even the data suggests that they are not going to form the government only thing we need to see if there is a victory what is the margin of victory and i think that's going to be the very decisive factor number one number two government has said that and that's also what i stated in my mint mint interview interview also which has got published they they also has stated that the government has given in uh, prime minister modi has said that 100 days uh, uh, next 100 days post forming the government would they were going to be announce many reforms now market will basically look out for what those reforms to understand uh, what is stored in for the for the economy and for the market so i think that's what so yes there'll be exciting time it's function of what what comes and how it comes out but 20% correction if bjp does not form the government if you if you if that's going to happen i would agree with you that yes market can correct by 20% but i don't think that's a best case scenario uh frank is saying that uh, the sunil for forecast for march cpi report shows that more mixed signals on inflation with progress told towards reducing inflation the march report could further aim the out deem the outlook for the fed rate cut you take on this place to yes frank sir you should read my blog that i wrote uh, for this uh, outlook for uh, fy 2025 and if you look at my media interaction also which i have been doing i have clearly articulated very clearly that uh, and even i did mention that in my uh, uh, last question and answer q and a with sunil dawania where the rbi no sorry i did it on class friday uh, with the with the future gen so last leg of inflation will always be little troublesome it's not going to go out easily and if you look at the strong growth in the economy there is no reason for central banks to reduce the rate of interest if the economy is doing well when do you reduce the rate of interest to give philip to the economy am i right agar wo acha hi kare when do you give a medicine to a uh, uh, person when he is not doing well am i right then you will give injection or you will get tablets aur acha hi kare to fir zarurat kya to i think the central banks also understand that if you do that then the economy may get heated up so agar if you are not doing rate cut and if you know is doing well let's continue with that second one more thing you must understand sir frank sir the the jerem powell had came in again said that they want an equilibrium in the labor market demand and supply should uh, 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 should reach a equilibrium but you know the jolt report that came out i think last friday or i think last friday or yesterday i'm i'm growing old so i'm not able to remember now but the jolt report was also excellent which again uh, creates a doubt that whether uh, central bank will cut the rate so previously even if you look go back to my equity outlook 2024 the whole world was saying that rate cut will happen in the month of um, in the march fomc meeting my was not that i said 12th june mein hoga first rate cut now even 12th june the probability has come down to only 50% rate cut ka 
Why? Because the data inputs are coming, and if the crude is going to go up, if the if the copper prices are going to go up, milk prices are going to go up. I think it's going to create further pressure uh, on on the on the, the inflation. So today, in the beginning of 2024, market was expecting seven rate cuts. Now there is a possibility that we might see anything anywhere between. Three rate cuts to no rate cuts in 2024, and that camp of zero rate cuts, that camp, is increasing day by day. So, even I had suggested that I predicted four rate cuts in 2024, but probably that my prediction going wrong is very very high at this point of time. I would not be surprised if there are no rate cuts in 2024. I would not be surprised. But having said that. These are very evolving situation. Things do change very fast, and hence, uh, right now to say that nahi hoga rate cuts is also a little premature. So we are not changing our view on the rate cuts. We do believe there will be four rate cuts uh, from the first rate cut happening on 12th June, FOMC meeting. Wait and watch because the new data coming in could uh, change the view. And if if you look at the language of one of the, I'm forgetting the name actually. But that gentle amendment also made a statement. Uh, one of the Fed officials said, "Go on the record saying there could be possible that we may not do a rate cut at all in 2024." It's very, very evolving, very, very uh, uh, dynamic at this point of time. So my expectation, our belief is now that will be even if at all the rate cuts, it will be far and few in 2024. Satyaban and Mayur. So our target is near about twenty thousand five hundred to twenty-two thousand kind of a target for Nifty Fifty for December two thousand twenty-four. Hello, uh, Kumar Singh. China's March new yuan loans in uh, rebounding. Can we expect more stimulus, especially with metals? Possibility high. Uh, see, China is becoming more and more unpredictable. I'll tell you, in 2023, everyone went wrong with China. They lifted COVID-related restriction. Everyone thought the economy will boom. वो हुआ नहीं है. See, the China's biggest problem is the how are they able to manage the real estate crisis. See, China problem is that the real estate was one of the biggest driving force to for growth in the Chinese economy. Now that problem, some of they need to basically resolve this problem. If they are able to resolve it, it can do well. If they are not able to resolve it, I think it will keep recurring a problem. So somewhere we need to, they need to really do a good measures. Right now it seems that China can rebound. That's what the the general consensus to be. You know, Chinese economy it's very difficult to uh, sometimes get a sense of because a lot of censorships are still there in terms of getting the right data and what is there. We need to when we do seriously don't know how severe the real estate crisis still there, which could still unfold uh, and that could uh, uh, create the problem. So it's a very uh, 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 developing situation. We should not read too much. Of course, that the data came out for the March was good, but we should not get carried away one month print. We need to wait and watch. So next couple of months, I'll be very very crucial to get some handle on what's happening in the Chinese economy. But today, metal prices are going up. Just suggests that. Chinese economy seems to be in a good health, or it's improving. Vikram Singh, Vikram Singh, sorry, saying I'm a Mojo One subscriber. I don't know how to find a sector to invest. Can you help me in this, please, sir? Vikram Singh, sir, आपको तो सेक्टर से क्या लेना देना है? Ultimately, you want to invest in a company, am I right? You are not going to invest in a sector. So the complete Mojo One has a list of stocks like Mojo stocks, turnaround companies, uh, uh, reliable, and the consistent. Us company le lije because ultimately you want to buy. See your call on the sector may be right, but if you end up buying a wrong company, you will not make money, isn't it? So that's why the complete list is open. If you want, you can reach out to our customer care department, and they'll be more than happy to hand holding you where all the companies are available for buy under Mojo stock. Uh, and under Mojo One, they will be more than happy to guide you. And uh, a काम कीजिए अरे अपने customer care department को ये भेज दीजिए query please. Let them uh, uh, reach out to Vikram Singh sir, and they will help you sir. 
Bathala Asok is saying, why, I would like to know why my mode of growth is still selecting stock from large cap. So what IP suggests, believes that large cap should do better as compared to medium and small cap. That's why your model portfolio, even though it's an aggressive portfolio, that's why I would believe that you, that's what you're referring to, will be uh, this one. So please continue to uh, follow that advice in a disciplined manner. Don't get carried away uh, that hey, to large cap, I want to invest in small cap, I will not invest. Please follow that advice in a discipline. In our PMS also today, 90% of our investment is in large cap. Only 10% mid cap, zero amount in small cap. And Nagarajan said, this year market is moving up in upward trend every day. Is it right time to buy or wait till election results to enter the market? So sir, you should not try to time the market. That's my uh, uh, advice would be because, uh, you know, to what we have stated to our uh, customer, in our PMS customer, I'll give you some very similar advice to you also. You should not try to increase the allocation to the equity as an assets class. But if you're already invested, then you need to reshuffle your uh, uh, equity portfolio and ensure that you have a right company in your portfolio. So, if you are already invested, then reshuffle the portfolio. But are you saying, should I increase my allocation to the equity as a overall? Maybe you can wait and watch. Uh, Lakshmi Nayan says, sir, I am having too late amount for investing. Please suggest investing in IRS, high end plants. Mojo plants look expensive for me. Is there any stock recommendation only valuable plants? Uh, Sorry, to be very honest with you, I don't know whether we have any plan like this. What I'll do, Lakshmi Narayan sir, I'll ask my team to reach out to you. Uh, please co forward this to customer care department. Sir, I don't know subscription plans. I don't look into that. Uh, so hence, I don't know. And I get it free, being a part of market. So I, I don't have to pay for it. I don't know, do we have a plan like this, a plan like this, but uh, someone will help you and uh, try to see if, if we have any plan which you can get benefit of that. Uh, Nalin Kapoor is saying, uh, 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 I could not uh, uh, see your CV website. So, uh, sir, our company name is a, uh, what we call Infinity Assets Advisor Private Limited. So, if you search on the CV website, you will get it. It's available on CV website. There is nothing why it should not be uh, available on the CV website. It's a mandatory. So, no, all PMS house has to report their numbers on the CV uh, website. Since you have asked me that question, I'm just uh, giving you the data as of today because our reports get updated uh, every, uh, what we call, evening. Oh God, okay. So in the month of uh, April, it's uh, up by 5.5% over the uh, soul and 5.92% for the power. But I think I should give you since inception. So just give me two minutes because I think I chose the wrong uh, period. Because what has happened, the new financial year has come in, am I right? So it takes by default <laughs> the, the the new financial year only. Uh, so in fact, I have to change it. So I'm changing it now, and I'm executing the query. So it will give me the data. But sir, it's available. Infinity Assets Advisor. You can look at it. So okay, uh, here we goes. So the soul is up by 17 percent since we started. Is a TWR returns. Uh, and uh, uh, the power is 20% return. Uh, Sasikan sir, uh, happy good Padwa to you and all my friends. Thank you sir. Please give your view on the fertilizer sector. So I think government uh, uh, wants to be the, uh, you know, because food safety, agri economy and everything, I think as a fertilizer should do well and government is willing to basically uh, give right inputs. In fact, I was reading one article which says that uh, uh, the urea that we import, I think by end of 2025 uh, will be self sufficient. We don't need to imp uh, uh, import the urea. So sector outlook looks extremely promising, sir. And with monsoon likely to be too good uh, this time, I think it further increases the prospects for a fertilizer sector. Uh, John Bright said, uh, sorry that my ask wasn't politically. I'm just looking to face a fall for good stocks if that happens. 
<laughs> See, one we need to understand the probability. It doesn't look like that. Say uh, that was a probability. But anyway, it's a good to have this kind of a question, and good to have this kind of a. Uh, you know, if if that happens, what happens? You know, it's good to have this kind of a uh, uh, academic question or hypothetical question. That's good to have. But if if BJP does not come back, yes, market can correct by twenty percent possibility. Yes, possibility. Uh, Suresh Kotha sir is saying your Mojo score seems to be heavily skewed towards technical rather than fundamental. Sir, I. I'm, I would love to know why do you think so. I must tell you, we don't disclose our weightage of this one. Fundamental has more weightage than technical. When I say more weightage, substantially more weightage. So that assumption that heavily scoot towards technical is wrong. You would see some companies which are technically bullish. I must tell you, technically bullish, it could be sell in our website. Now help me understand if technical has a more weightage, then it should be buy because bullish se upar to ko join hi sakta technical mein. So that's one. So you can check it yourself. I don't want to this one. One of the Mojo stock has gone to sell just a matter of two months. No result, uh, mind you. Meanwhile, your motto is to stay invested in fund and nothing ch change in the company. But a Mojo stock going to sell without any fund and change seems to be against to this. So this quota sir, there will be two reasons. One is definitely. Uh, a technical second thing is the valuations. Am I right? Both will and and in two months, very obviously sir, result would have come. So which company are referring to sir? And tell me where it basically moved to sell from Mojo stock. Result has to come out with. Otherwise, it cannot go to sell without result. I must tell you that also. Uh, Alap uh, Kanabari Singh, uh, uh, now that small and mid caps have bounced back, <coughs> continue not. Is there a wish still to stay away? Are we missing an out opportunity? I must tell you, the answer is no. We do believe and we continue to believe that mid and small cap should underperform purely because of the valuation point, the froth point of view. Are we missing out? I can tell you with PMS. Uh, you know, in the month of April, our sole Strategy is up by 5.51 percent as of today, versus benchmark of 2.51. So we outperform the benchmark by 100x, not 100x, 1x. Uh, okay, and the same way power uh, is up by 5.92 percent versus benchmark of 2.51 percent. So we wanted to conserve capital at the same time you don't want to miss out on the rally so that's why we moved to the large cap 90 percent and despite having a 90 percent large cap we outperform the market so i think uh, the, the the point is that you need to be a little careful see we do believe that medium small cap can uncorrect and when as in when they will correct they will correct substantially higher so are we missing out we are not missing out and sometimes market is own wisdom जरूरी नहीं है कि आप आज बोलो रो कल से गिरना चालू हो जाए इट कैन रिएक्ट आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स ऑल्सो आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स ऑल्सो दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स बट राइट नाउ यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल व्हेन यू इन्वेस्ट इन मेड स्मॉल कैप यू नीड टू बी डब्ल्यू स्टोर योर 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 स्क्रोटनी एज टू बी टू एक्स ऑफ द नॉर्मल टाइम फॉर इन्वेस्टिंग इन द मेड एंड स्मॉल कैप आई टेल्स मी दैट आई नो मोर क्वेश्चन इज माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट ओके That means we have covered each and every question today. Of course, my presentation was very brief, so that could really help us to expand our question answer. So, with a thanks once again, everyone, wishing you happy Gudi Parva to you and everyone in your family, happy uh, Chetra Navratri to you and everyone in your family, and also happy Ugadi. And those of our Muslim friends, uh, uh, happy uh, Eid Mubarak in advance. Uh, please celebrate uh, a, a festival of joy with all. Fun fair. With this, good night. Take care. Tomorrow, I think Karan is doing. Am I right, Karan? Karan, Karan. Yes, Karan is coming in front of you with stock of the month. Please listen to him. Uh, I'm sure, sure, he, our investment committee would have picked up a very beautiful company to make investment. So, please uh, do tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Karan would be in front of you, and of course, I'll see you back again next week. Good night. Take care.